Well, this weekend is shaping up to be a much drier weekend than initially expected. That's due to a lot of dry air filtering on in and really keeping us mainly quiet the last couple of days. We are wedged between essentially two systems here. We have what was Francine far off towards our west, not impacting us here at home, but we also have another area off the coast that does have a small chance of developing in the next couple of days. If it does, this could continue to bring our rain chances up, but at least for the time being, it's mainly just bringing us occasional showers throughout the day and moving on into tomorrow. We'll have to keep a close eye on that for further development though. The afternoon highs for today will be topping out in the upper 70s primarily to the lower 80s. So pretty much right on track for where we should be this time of year. And we've got a very breezy weekend in store for us. Winds out of the northeast anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting as high as 25 to 30. So yes, it will be breezy. However, that's still going to make things feel nice and comfortable throughout the day. Now, like I mentioned, it is looking much drier this weekend. Doesn't mean we're completely out of the woods, though. We will see occasional showers on and off throughout the day, but notice the coverage very minimal. We could use the rain in a big way. We just don't have a whole lot of moisture uh, in the forecast, at least for the time being. I'm hopeful that by the very end of the day, we might actually see a few breaks of sunshine trying to develop. But again, if you are trying to get out and about this weekend, do some fall activities or just enjoy the weekend, lots of opportunities to do so. You just might need to keep a close eye on the radar and maybe have that umbrella handy as you might dodge a shower or two today and yet again tomorrow. Again, we need to keep a close eye on the system off the coast, though. We are tracking the tropics. We've got two areas of interest. The one a little bit closer to home, though, is highlighted here in orange. Pretty good chance that we could see further development within the next several days. If it does, it could potentially bring some of this rain a little bit further inland as it has primarily a northwestern track as of right now. So we might have to ramp up our rain chances by late this weekend into early next week. But for the time being, a lot of that moisture is staying off towards the coast, not necessarily impacting us too much here at home. In addition to that, we are tracking Tropical Storm Gordon. Right now, it is looking likely that it'll eventually meander on out into the middle of the Atlantic and ultimately fizzle on out, so not causing any impacts towards the Caribbean or here at home. Again, we will continue to keep you posted on that coastal system that could potentially develop in the next couple of days. As of right now, just a few occasional showers on and off throughout the day today into tomorrow with breezy conditions and highs topping out in the upper 70s. If we do see that low begin to develop into a subtropical low off the coast, we could increase our rain chances by early next week. Right now, just keeping a small chance for rain in the forecast. Otherwise, trending mainly dry next week with temperatures gradually rising near normal to even slightly above average in a few spots.